hi guys um welcome back to my channel it's Della and I'm back with another video and if you are new you're most certainly welcome so in this video I'm just going to talk about you know my clinical experiences in the NICU so with that being said let's get right into the video <music> Um, so, basically, I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in quite a while, you guys. Um, I've been super busy. This month have just, no, not even this month, this semester have just been super stressful. Like, but you know what? It's almost over. So, you know, I'm excited about that. We only have like three more weeks. I'm literally counting the days we have until December 15th which is the last day of school where we just get like a whole month off of school for Christmas break and I'm just I'm waiting for December 15th to get here so I can just take my final exam and just never have to think about this semester again because I think I've told you this is like supposed to be our most stressful semester in RT school clinicals Monday through Thursday sometimes you know clinical every day and then sitting in a classroom all day for 12 hours on Friday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. quizzes every Fridays no quizzes every other Fridays and exams every other Friday so it's like it's been a lot but honestly I'm just ready for it to be over I'm almost done you know but yeah so anyway, back to the neonatal, you know, the NICU at the Children's Hospital. So I think I've told you guys before, like, I absolutely love little tiny humans, babies. And um, I didn't think, like, I knew I was going to like going to the Children's Hospital, but I didn't think I was going to love it as much as I loved it. Because, okay, I was on a schedule this month to go to the Children's Hospital, and you guys... I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love it over there. And I really see myself working at the NICU or the Children's Hospital, like, you know, after I graduate from RT school. I absolutely love it. It is like I had so much fun there. I learned so much. And it's like the experience was just so amazing. And I just can't wait to go back. I don't know if I'm going to be on the schedule to go there next month. But I don't even think we're going to clinical next month, to be honest. Because, you know, it's it's the end of the semester. But hopefully next semester, I will be on the schedule to go there a lot. Because I just loved it so much over there. I know I keep saying I love it, but you guys, I really did love it over there. It's like, you know, when you walk into something and then you automatically know that this is what you want to do like this is where you want to be after you graduate like that's how I felt like I walked in on the first day after I left I was like wow I think I actually want to work here like after graduation like I really love it so much and um the experience I think was just really really amazing and I witnessed a baby being born you know, it was like, it was awesome. I witnessed a baby being born. So the first thing that came to my mind after I saw, because I've seen like birth videos before, you know, I've seen videos on Grey's Anatomy and stuff like that. But like to see it in real life, because I've never actually been in a delivery room because I've always avoided it. But to actually see it in real life, I was like, wow, you missed out on a lot trying to avoid going to a delivery room. And it was so amazing. As soon as the baby came out, you know, I was like, wow, God is really, really amazing. This is awesome. And then the second thing that came to my mind was, you guys, I kid you not. Like, why am I singing the Lion King's theme song right now in my head? But that was the second thing that came to my mind. Like, it was like Simba it was born. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> okay, no, but all honesty, you guys, it was just amazing. So I think, like, naturally, when you think 
or when you know you want to do something, you go the extra mile. Like, I was asking so many questions about the babies. I was volunteering a lot. And, like, everything, like, we were doing, I was like, oh, can I do this or can I do that? And then, you know, he would say, have you done this before? I'm like, no, but, you know, you can walk me through it and, you know, so I can learn. And then, you know, he, uh, my preceptor would do that, like, you know, he would walk me through it verbally and I would do what he tells me to do. So I think that's like one of the best ways you can learn. Like you can read all the books in the world. You can get all the knowledge in the world from these books. But if you don't do hands-on stuff, you don't volunteer to do things that you um think you want to do. Like you don't, you're not going to like, you will know the, you have the knowledge, but you won't have the experience. Like, does that make sense? I hope it does. So, um... I think for me, the best way I, I learn is for me to do like hands-on stuff. Like, I don't think I've ever volunteered this much at any clinical site that I've been to since I started the RT program. I was so eager to learn when I was in the NICU. I was like, because it's just where I want to be. Like, once you find, like, you figure out where you want to be, you are just naturally going to be eager even if you're tired because I was always tired but once I got to the children's hospital I wasn't tired anymore I was awake I was alert I was able to learn I was you know writing things down that I you know found interesting or things that I think I should go home and google and do research on so when, whenever you find the area you want to be in in the um, respiratory therapy field you will be eager to learn so um like i said that was my experience for this month in the NICU it was it was really amazing i really enjoyed it and i cannot wait to go back because i absolutely absolutely love it i love it i love it absolutely love it so but that's it for this video you guys and i will talk to you in another video bye